Hello, Ghostbusters. Yes, of course they're serious. You do? You have? No kidding. Uh-huh. Well, just, uh, just give me the address. Uh -huh. Yes, of course. Oh, they'll be totally discreet. Thank you. We got one! Look. This is hot, Ray. Symmetrical book stacking. Just like the Philadelphia Man's Turbulence of 1947. You're right. No human being would stack books like this. Listen. You smell something? For whatever reasons, Ray, call it fate, call it luck, call it karma. I believe that everything happens for a reason. I believe that we were destined to get thrown out of this dump. For what purpose? To go into business for ourselves. We're ready to believe you. It just seems a little pricey for a unique fixer-upper opportunity, that's all. What do you think, Egon? I think this building should be condemned. There's serious metal fatigue in all the load-bearing members. The wiring is substandard. It's completely inadequate for our power needs. And the neighborhood is like a demilitarized zone. Hey, does this pole still work? Wow, this place is great. When can we move in? You've got to try this pole. It's very handy, I can tell. I bet you like to read a lot, too. Print is dead. Do you have any hobbies? I collect spores, molds, and fungus. I hate this. I like to torture him. That's right, boys. It's Dr. Venkman. You know, you don't act like a scientist. They're usually pretty stiff. You're more like a game show host. What are you supposed to be, some kind of a cosmonaut? <laughs> no, we're exterminators. Somebody saw a cockroach up on 12. That's got to be some cockroach. Beckman, what happened? Are you OK? He slimed me. That's great. Actual physical contact. There's something very important I forgot to tell you. What? Don't cross the streams. Why? It would be bad. I'm fuzzy on the whole good, bad thing. What do you mean, bad? Try to imagine all life as you know it stopping instantaneously and every molecule in your body exploding at the speed of light. Total protonic reversal. All right, that's bad. We came, we saw, we kicked its ass. Do you believe in UFOs, astral projections, mental telepathy, ESP, clairvoyance, spirit photography, telekinetic movement, full trance mediums, the Loch Ness Monster, and the theory of Atlantis? Uh, if there's a steady paycheck in it, I'll believe anything you say. All I do know is that I've been working two weeks without a break, and you promised me you'd hire more help. Janine, someone with your qualifications would have no trouble finding a top-flight job in either the food service or housekeeping industries. Are you going to answer that? Quit better jobs than this. Ghostbusters, what do you want? Well, let's say this Twinkie represents the normal amount of psychokinetic energy in the New York area. According to this morning sample, it would be a Twinkie 35 feet long, weighing approximately 600 pounds. <coughs> That's a big Twinkie. Does anybody want to play Parcheesi? OK, who brought the dog? Hello. That's a different look for you, isn't it? Are you the key master? Not that I know of. Dana, it's Peter. There is no Dana. There is only Zulu. Oh, Zuli, you nut now. Come on. Come on, I want to talk to Dana. Dana, just relax. Come on. Dana, Dana. Can I talk to Dana? There is no Dana, only 
soul. What a lovely singing voice you must have. I am Vince. Vince Clortho, key master of Gozer. Volca Sildro, our lord of the Sebulia. Are you the gatekeeper? Vince, you said before you were waiting for a sign. What sign are you waiting for? Gozer the Traveler. He will come in one of the pre-chosen forms. During the rectification of the Valdrani, the Traveler came as a large and moving torb. Then, during the third reconciliation of the last of the McKetrick supplicants, they chose a new form for him, that of a giant slore. Many shubs and zools knew what it was to be roasted in the depths of the slore that day, I can tell you. Egon. Hold it! Now, we're actually going to go before a federal judge and say that some moldy Babylonian god is going to drop in on Central Park West and start tearing up the city. Sumerian, not Babylonian. Yeah, big difference. I am the key master. I am the gatekeeper. Now where's this Peck? Hey, I am Walter Peck, sir, and I'm prepared to make a full report. These men are consummate snowball artists. They use sense and nerve gases to induce hallucinations. People think they're seeing ghosts. And they call these bozos who conveniently show up to deal with the problem with a fake electronic light show. Everything was fine with our system until the power grid was shut off by Dickless here. They caused an explosion. Is this true? Yes, it's true. This man has no dick. This city is headed for a disaster of biblical proportion. Well, what do you mean, biblical? Well, what he means is Old Testament, Mr. Yes. Mayor. Real wrath of God type stuff. Exactly. Fire and brimstone coming down from the skies. Rivers and seas boiling. Forty years of darkness, earthquakes, volcanoes. The dead rising from the grave. Human sacrifice, dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria. Enough, I get the point. She's a dog. Oh! Beat him up! Motion! Beat him hard! Ready! Let's show this prehistoric bitch how we do things downtown. It's the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Ray has gone bye-bye, Egon. What have you got left? Sorry, Bankman. I'm terrified beyond the capacity for rational thought. Boy, the superintendent's gonna be pissed. Are you okay? Who are you guys? We're the Ghostbusters. Who does your taxes? 